Yes, Gawa. <laughs> This video shows how to reset the servo amplifiers and motors to factory default in an MPIEC controller system. Here's a quick preview of the steps to come. Online in Motionworks IEC hardware configuration, open the servo axes from the hardware tree and click the blue buttons. First, reset default PN values to clear the alarm PN002 not correctly initialized. And then reset absolute encoder to clear A. 8.1 encoder backup error. Now let's go through the procedure in more detail as outlined in the MPIEC quick reference guide, document number QRG.MP2000IEC series.01. I'll be demonstrating with our offsite training demo station, which uses the MP2300 SIEC controller with two Sigma 5 servo axes set to Mechatrolink nodes 1 and 2. I've rebooted with the config switch on so that these axes can be discovered. I have the web server up, confirming my connection to the controller, and I've started a new project. Now open the hardware configuration and go online with the controller. My controller is at 192.168.15.23 and connect. In the configuration comparison dialog, choose Use auto discovered configuration. If you already have a project on the controller, this will say use startup configuration. Now we're online and you can see a lot of red in the hardware tree indicating alarms. On my machine, in the alarms tab, each axis is complaining about PN002 not correctly initialized and encoder backup error. This is normal and expected the first time you connect a new servo to the controller. All we need to do is reset the servo parameters to default and reset the absolute encoder. Expand the tree to select the axis, SGDV rotary. Click Reset Default PN Values to send an IEC friendly set of default parameters to the servo pack. This parameter set is only temporary for now and will become permanent when we save and reboot. But we'll do that just once after all the axes are ready. The parameters are sent and OK to confirm. Now click the blue button on the left to reset the absolute encoder. This will clear the alarm A.81 or it may say A.810 but that alarm code won't disappear until after reboot. Click OK to accept the warning and OK to confirm the reboot. Before the reboot, I'll repeat this for the second axis. SGDV Rotary 2, reset default PN values, OK, and OK. Reset absolute encoder, OK, and OK. Be sure you're online and save. When save completes, Reboot Controller can be initiated under the Online menu. Now the controller has rebooted and no alarms display on the front panel. I'll connect again in the hardware configuration and My Machine Alarms also shows no alarms. Next, see the videos on how to set user units and run a test move in the hardware configuration before starting the motion program. But now as one final troubleshooting possibility, if the motors are not new, it is possible to get the A.CC0 alarm at this point. And that comes from the multi-turn limit parameter, which might still be stored in the encoder of the motor. Uh, A.CC0 has to be cleared from the web server, machine operations, drive PN tab, select the axis, and click multi-turn reset. Reboot the system again to clear this alarm. Thanks for watching this video. 
And remember, yaskawa.com slash IEC for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.